20 million 500,000 jobs lost in April. Oh man, we're in the debts. 14.7% unemployment. I say we've got to get back to work, got to get back there fast. Linda McMahon is with us, and she's the former small business administrator. Linda, it's always good to have you on the show. Here's my premise. Thank you, Stuart. If we don't get back soon, and I mean soon, businesses, small businesses across the country go bankrupt. And I don't care what the government's going to do for them. This is an imperative. We've got to get back. Are you with me? Absolutely, Stuart. And what you're going to see, as is always the case, is that this comeback will be led by small businesses. I mean, you know, Shelley Luther was a classic example of why small businesses lead the way and are the backbone of the economy, because small business owners are innovative. They are entrepreneurs. They're going to figure it out. Uh, they're going to provide the right safety measures to get customers back into their businesses. They always have and they always will. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have to sort of, you know, get past the fear factor. And the way we get past the fear factor is to make sure that customers are going to feel safe coming back into retail stores, hair salons, nail salons, pizza parlors, all of those things, restaurants, because they are vital you know, to our economy. And we're uh, going to see small businesses do that. I, I think the, the going back to work, that may be a little delayed because a lot of people make more money staying home than they did actually going to work. I think there'll be a lot of people who didn't like the job they had and don't want to go back to it. So it's the back to work element that I think will be kind of slow. However, the other side of the coin, getting out of the house, going shopping, going to the restaurant, going to the bar, I think that will explode. I think I, there's a dichotomy I see here. Well, I think you're right about that. And um, there is some portion of those folks who were either laid off or furloughed that I think the, the measure of the unemployment insurance and the additional $600 per week has been very, very helpful for them in maintaining you know, their homes, being able to put food on the tables for their families. But there is the other side of that, that, hey, they might have been making a little more with unemployment than they were when they were working full time. Hmm. But I have really found that, by and large, people who have jobs that are good paying jobs they're satisfied with their work. They want to come back to work. And I do think that PPP, which wasn't put in place, has helped so many small businesses keep their, um, their folks, even though they're not working, mm. you know, to keep them on the payroll, which has obviously kept them off the unemployment rolls as well. So they're ready to come back. And I think that was the intent when businesses are open. But Stuart, as you've said, you know, states now have got to look at how we reopen safely yeah. Yes. in our country and, and get people back to work because, you know, we are a consumer economy. Yep. And until we get back to being consumers and create that demand, you know, we're not going to see our economy come back, but we're going to see it come back. And I have great confidence and faith in President Trump, who knows exactly how to do that. He okay. rebuilt this economy well, once and he's the one to do it again. Linda, I was so pleased to see uh, Shelley Luther walk out of jail to a lot of cheers. And by the way, President Trump spoke about it this morning on Fox and Friends. And let me roll that tape for you, then you can see it for yourself. Roll it, please. I thought it was terrible. I thought he was a terrible judge. The governor agreed with me because the governor and the attorney general, they have a great attorney general. She's an incredible representative for a large group of people that want to do the same thing. They want to get back to work. These people want to get back to work. We know they've, everybody's done what they have done. And you can only do that so long. And that causes death also. Yeah, good point. Um, last word to you, Linda. Look, absolutely. Shelley came out and showed, look, we want to reopen. We want to reopen in the right way. But we have, we have kids to feed and we have things to do. And we must maintain safety and health care. But we've got to get people back to work and get people in our shops and in our stores and in our restaurants. Yeah, I just love to see that video. I really do. What a woman. <laughs> uh, Linda McMahon. Yeah, absolutely. Really, what a woman. Linda McMahon, thank you, ma'am. We'll see you again real soon.